Hi, how are you doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and I'm here with a very special guest. It is Darren Klink, the CEO of Bluestone Resources, Inc. How are you doing today, Darren? Very good, Rich. Great to be here. Great to have you here. Love to know more about your company today. So why don't we just get started by you telling us a little bit about Bluestone Resources, Inc. Yeah, no, pleasure. So, so Bluestone is a publicly listed company trading on the Toronto Stock Exchange Venture as well as the OTCQB. Uh, we are focused on, uh, obviously, in the, in the mining and mineral space and specifically on gold and precious metals. And we have a very exciting project located in the southeast uh, part of Guatemala that we're rapidly advancing. And uh, soon we'll be kicking off uh, construction development of a high-grade gold mine. That's great. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of your projects? So the, the core project really for us is the Cerro Blanco Gold Project. Uh, and that's located in the Jutiapa Department in the southeastern part of Guatemala about three hours down the Pan American Highway from uh, Guatemala City. It's a high-grade, low-sulfidation epithermal system, uh, which rather uniquely uh, has had a significant amount of previous investment by previous owners. And in fact, the previous owner that we had acquired it from, Gold Corp, one of the largest gold companies in the world that was recently acquired by Newmont, in fact. Uh, and so the Cerro Blanco project has had more than $200 million invested in it over the last 10 to 15 years, really from discovery stage through the geology, engineering, study phase. Uh, and that's all culminated in us completing a feasibility study earlier this year in January which uh, demonstrated a very robust project that we're now in the midst of, uh, of putting the project financing package together uh, to kick off uh, construction and development next year. That's great. Now, you mentioned Guatemala a few times. Why a market like Guatemala? Well, at the end of the day, uh, in the resources business, you know, to produce things that we need in our everyday life, you have to go where Mother Nature put them. Uh, and, uh, and so Mother Nature has, has deposited a great belt of rocks through Central and uh, South America that of course continues up into Mexico. Mexico, they've been uh, mining precious metals there for well, well over 500 years, uh, when this, you know, pr predating the Spanish arrival. Uh, and so this is the same belt of geology, very prospective, uh, and, uh, and we're really excited about it. We think it's a great time to, to be there. We've, we've got the best of both worlds, really, geologic endowment, geologic prospectivity, but of course then also uh, the head start with the more than $200 million of invested in this project that allows us to really kickstart uh, at a time when, um, you know, from, from a market perspective and from an environment perspective, it's a great time to be looking at precious metals. Absolutely, I agree with you 100%. I know our members have been very, very interested in precious metals recently with the price of gold going up and the price of silver going up. Now, when you're working with a community like and country like Guatemala, there's got to be a lot of work that you're doing to support local communities. How are you guys doing that work? Well, it's part of our business, and I don't think it, it really matters whether or not it's Guatemala or it's Australia or it's Canada, uh, the United States. At the end of the day, um, you know, we are a guest. We are a partner with our, our local communities, our local stakeholders, our government partners, our employees, of course. Uh, and um, one of the things around Bluestone that we put in place uh, very early on, and in fact, Bluestone's really only a company that's been in its current form for just over two years, so relatively new, is, uh, is sat down with uh, our local employees in Guatemala and established really a, a set of values, values that were non-negotiable. And those are respect, integrity, teamwork, excellence, and accountability. And those form really the foundations of our business. And of course, respect is an absolute key one, no matter where you are or what you're doing, uh, particularly when you have uh, various different stakeholder groups. So uh, we're very much focused on our relationships, on our social acceptance. Uh, I often say it's the one thing that you can't engineer. Uh, and, uh, and that sort of strong relationship, the ability to work closely with our partners alongside really creating wealth and opportunities uh, for local communities and for the people of Guatemala uh, is what this is all about. At the end of the day, we're taking things out of the ground uh, and we're taking resource capital and we're turning it into human capital. Uh, and that's uh, really our strategy and, and that's what we're embarking on here now as we move forward. Fantastic. Now, one of the things that our investors really want to know about are your production forecasts. So what are your production forecasts and your overall thoughts on the current precious metals market? Very interesting time, uh, no doubt. Uh, you know, in the resources space over the last few years have been perhaps a bit more on the down cycle. Of course, it is very much a cyclical business, and so we think, see things move up and down. Uh, this project, again, because it's a, a high-grade project, the, the average uh, grade of the deposit is around 10 grams per ton, uh, will produce uh, between 100 and 150,000 ounces of gold uh, per annum. 
Uh, now, when you mar mar march that up, uh, match that up really with the uh, the overall cost of production, uh, very robust margins. Uh, and in fact, producing gold at less than $600 an ounce at today's gold price, north of $1,400 an ounce, that's a great margin. And that's a great margin whether or not you're producing gold bars or cars or tennis shoes. Uh, and so it's a great business with great, great cash flows uh, as we bring this asset on. And I think when you look at the precious metal space, uh, no doubt some of the smartest minds out there uh, over the last sort of three or four months have started to pivot. Uh, you know, you're starting to hear more and more around uh, some of these very successful investors and moving away from the, the more broad equity markets uh, in the United States as an example. Uh, and pegging gold as being one of the better investment places here over the next year or two. And so there's uncertainty. Uh, you see interest rates possibly starting to come down, uncertainty around a potential correction or recession. And just like that, you know, gold's uh, you know, gone up 10, 15%. Now, in your most recent corporate update, the company suggests that Bluestone Resources is very close to development kickoff. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so uh, really all the, the technical work that's been ongoing here over the last couple of years, really the last 18 months as we put together our feasibility study, uh, as I said, demonstrated a very good uh, outcome with regards to what this project will look like when it's brought on. Uh, and since that time in, in uh, January, we've been focused on upgrading the resource. So there's a, an infill program that we've been working on that's going to help, I think, in terms of moving inferred resources into indicated and further adding additional mine life. But now now the focus is very much on um, putting the project finance in place. And so we're still hopeful that, uh, as we've laid out earlier in the year, that we would have at least the first tranche of financing in place by the end of this year. That allows us to kick the development off. And by the end of 2021, uh, which is not that far away, uh, we'll be producing gold and making that important transition from developer explorer into constructor and operator and that's of course when it becomes a real business it starts generating cash flow and as I said with the sort of margins that we're talking about will be some of the best margins in the industry. Wow that's impressive now we're talking about a very competitive industry so what makes Bluestone Resources stand out amongst all the competitors? It's the deposit. It's what Mother Nature's really put there. Uh, this project, this company will have the ability to generate more free cash flow in the first year of annual production than the market capitalization of the company today. It's, wow. it's unparalleled and uh, super exciting. And it's a reason why, you know, uh, the, really the large majority of the management team, many of us have left uh, other bigger companies uh, with, uh, you know, senior roles, senior executive roles, because at the end of the day, as I said, Mother Nature is not making any more of these deposits. So it's a very exciting sort of asset uh, that is, uh, you know, for many years has been tied up in a bigger company that, uh, really the, the management decision was made that it wasn't wasn't going to be a focus because it wasn't big enough um, but at Bluestone we're focused on profitability and cash flows uh, and this is a, a very unique opportunity for us to really launch a company uh, on the back of uh, one of the most profitable gold development projects in the world today. That's impressive now you may have already answered this question but if there's one thing you want shareholders to know about Bluestone resources what would it be? It's the quality of the asset, the margin, as I said. I mean, uh, any business, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you need to generate free cash flow. Uh, and, uh, and this is ultimately a, a foundation for, a, for a, a company like Bluestone to really build from uh, and a unique opportunity for many of us in our careers as well. It's not very often you get a chance to uh, get your hands on an asset like this. And obviously we've had great support from our shareholders. Uh, we're backed by some of the most well-known and smartest investors in the space, uh, including the Lendeen family. Uh, and uh, the Lendeen family has been hugely successful in the mining and mineral space all over the world, uh, backing management teams and companies for good assets. Because again, it's, it's, uh, you can't create that. That's Mother Nature's job. And so you want good assets because good assets allow you to, to build companies and, and generate uh, good cash flows and generate very strong uh, ecosystems in and around those assets as well uh, in the various countries that, that these assets are located. That's great. And the way things are going, it seems as though you guys are primed for a huge 2019. Can you kind of give us an idea of what is to come for the next six months? It's already been a huge uh, start to the year, no doubt, with uh, all the deliverables we've uh, been able to demonstrate. Uh, 
but now, I mean, with with the focus on the project financing, getting the project financing delivered and continuing that moving along, uh, I'm quite confident that we'll get the first transfer financing in by the end of the year and allow us then to kick off this project. And as I said, those important steps are moving towards uh, an operation. Uh, so far this year, we've put out, I think, some of the best drill results that demonstrate the quality of this project uh, over the last six months, high grade uh, gold results. And those, those results are important because they're, they're really targeting uh, areas on veins that we think we can upgrade from an inferred resource category into indicated. And that ultimately will be important once the mine planners get in and update the mine plan uh, as we move forward. And so that's an important part because we're effectively saying we're increasing the confidence on the, on the resources, which will add additional mine life and ultimately uh, we would hope additional cash flows and profitability. Uh, and on the back of that, expect to provide an, a resource update on the first on the northern part of the deposit that we've been targeting over the last six months. And we would expect to see that in the fall. So, so lots of news flow. Um, the numbers, you know, so far have looked great. Uh, and then ultimately, uh, you know, putting the financing in place to then, you know, kick off the development early next year. That's great. Now, the last question, what is the best way for shareholders to get in touch with the company? Yeah, we'd welcome any sort of inbound queries. So definitely through the uh, email is a good way, info at bluestoneresources.ca or through our website, www.bluestoneresources.ca. We'd be happy to take a phone call or, or inbound queries around uh, the exciting future that we've got here over the next uh, year. Uh, and uh, we look forward to uh, taking any of those questions or inbound queries for sure. That is great. Thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. And joining us on Rich TV Live. Guys, go and put Bluestone Resources on your watch list, put it on your radar. This is Darren Klink, the CEO of Bluestone Resources, Inc.